Systems are super important because as you try to scale your trucking business, guess what? You're gonna run into roadblocks and as more drivers apply to you, more drivers you're trying to hire, it's just gonna get messy and more chaotic. Make sure to stick till the end because I will be sharing with you my own personal software, tools, technology that I use or I give to the trucking businesses that I coach one-on-one -on -one and how they've been so successful with it. So make sure you watch right till the end. Let's get started. So first thing first is you need to have a website. And you may say like, Amrit, why website? Any prospective driver, they're gonna look you up online, right? If you're an ABC Trucking in Nashville, Tennessee, they're gonna type in ABC Trucking Nashville, Tennessee or something else. And you're the first one who pops up, they're gonna go look at your website. It's not important to have a fancy looking site. What's important to have is a simple, simplistic, easy to navigate site. If you have 900 buttons, 2000 things happening, they can't find information, they can't connect with you, guess what, that driver is gonna bounce and fall off the face of the earth. Now what I've done is, not to make this video too long, I've actually done an extensive video on what your website should look like, exactly key things. I'm tagging it right above this video so you can go watch it, um, how you should structure it and all that. And I actually give you a free website that I've charge thousands for trucking companies to build, you can get it for free, okay? So you, you can just have it. Now the second thing I wanna tell you is, is once you have this site, you have your application. Now what most trucking companies go into the mystery of is, they always try to give them the application of the universe. Let me explain. In US and in Canada, depending where you are, right, wherever you're watching the video, the rules of hiring a driver is totally different. In Canada, we don't need a long application to know about their driving history and all of that kind of stuff. We just get their name, phone number, make a contact, and see if they're good and ask them to bring their resume to the interview. It's still old school in Canada. In US, there are different legal obligations and reports that you have to run before you can hire a driver or make them a fit for your business. In US, that's called the long application, or people call it different names. What this long application entails is their life history, their freaking, it's, it's a very long application. And it's almost like a, it's not a legal piece of document, but kind of sorta is to run certain reports to see if this driver is a good fit. Most trucking companies try to give this long application on their site as soon as the driver hits there. That is a big no-no and mistake. What you want to do is you want to give them something that they call short app, right? And some of you guys may even have this and that's fine, just stick with me and I'll show you the more advanced version of this. This is where they just give you the basic preliminary info of their name, email, phone number, experience, what they're interested in, like four or five things to kind of get a guess when you get this information if this driver is worth talking to, looking into, or finding out if he or she may be a good fit to invite them to do a long application. Now the second thing I wanna explain is, in part of being systems, is you need to have something that I call DRM. Driver Relationship Management System, basically. Okay, DRM. Driver Relationship Management. Once this driver apply, it goes into the system and actually puts it into a bucket with different filters of what this driver is about, how much experience it has, and it's almost like your digital tracking system and a way of showing you how many people applied, when they applied, what's their name, email, in a nice stored way, instead of you trying to keep a track record of this on spreadsheets or writing it down or maybe getting an email and then looking through your email. You need to need to have that. Now, larger trucking businesses or even medium-sized trucking businesses have this. They may use, they may use other softwares that are available out there, right? Even that stuff is not to the level that it should serve you as a great DRM. So not only that, the DRM will also, you can also set up reminder, let's say, if this guy is not qualified today, you can remind yourself about this guy to call, you, call him or her after six months or seven months from today. You know, they may have six months of experience and you need a year of experience. Guess what, you can set a reminder for yourself six months later from now 
to call this guy. How many reminders can you set on your phone? At scale, you can't. You need a DRM, right? Like it's just the nature of the game. Once they go to the DRM, the main people that would be responsible to make this component work would be your recruiters or yourself if you're a smaller trucking business or anybody like your safety director or whoever may be depending on the size of your business. These are the people who are managing this. Now DRMs are not just the only things that you will use for like hiring drivers. These could be also used for actually your current drivers keeping them with you and engaged and also keeping them in that retention green area. So DRM is where you're gonna have a lot of success and then having this thing architect properly. Now there's certain things that you have to keep in mind when using these DRMs is like, you still have to manage this stuff. You know, it's not like it's gonna be a self-managing thing, but guess what, whatever you're doing right now on spreadsheets or emails or whatever it may be, even in 10th Street or Intelia or whatever it is, these DRMs are still gonna cut a lot of time, make the follow-ups, tagging drivers way more easier and actually bring you more drivers coming back to you because the amount of things that you can do in the system to attract and hire more drivers. So what I've done is I've actually put down a link for the DRM that I use personally and I'm also gonna tag the video to show you how I use it so you can use it for your business and go get this for your trucking company and start putting it to your business. So I've given you the website and I've given you this DRM I don't know what more can I do for your business. Of course, if I could fly to you and teach you all the things, that would be the next, next best thing possible. If you wanna see more content like this, then hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel because I'm always putting out great content. People ask me all the time, I'm like, how do you do this? How do you do that? So I'm always creating great more content. So when you subscribe and hit that notification bell, it comes directly to you as soon as I release it. And then let me know in the comments, what else would you like to learn? and if there's anything that you want me to cover in the upcoming videos and content. Not only that, I give away a lot of free stuff on these videos, so make sure, again, to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.